All right, guys, before we get started on the video, I want to do a little do a little product plug. Um, we are getting close to trapping. We're just down to two weeks left here in Missouri before trapping starts. So and a lot of you guys know I got trapping baits and lures now. Got my bait. The only bait I have right now is the All Predator. Good for coyotes, cats. You're going to catch raccoons. I mean, it doesn't matter what you use, but so this is my number one bait. Got the All Predator lure. Catches everything. It's been, it's, these two are my biggest sellers, bait. Got some raccoon candy. Got some stinky beaver. This is uh, really good for coyotes. I tested this on Flair's Ranch. You guys seen that in the ranch videos, if you were watching that, if you're into trapping. Beaver tail oil. This will get your coyotes digging, keep them in the hole. This is all the beavers you guys see me keep the tails for. Come on, beaver lure. If you've seen any of my beaver videos this in the last year and a half, this is what we've been using. And this is the number one skunky lure. The name says it all. Selling. This is actually my last bottle. I have to bottle more tonight. It's going out as fast as I can get it in a bottle. So if you guys are in the trapping, just wanted to do a little plug. I don't really plug a whole lot. You'll see me use these. And I don't know if you guys have Chinese beetles where you are, but they are a nuisance here. So that's just a line of products that I have. These were developed based on all the people, all my fans wanting me to come out with baits and lures. So this one, the All Predator bait has been out. This will be its third season. And I get a lot of pictures if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook. Lots of pictures of people out there catching. So appreciate it. Let's get on with the video. What's up, guys? Welcome back. It's been a while. Uh, we are going to jumpstart trapping season. You guys know me already. Damon has a... Uh, um, oh my God. Go, Trapped go up on. outdoors? <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> well, I haven't said it for like a year. Damon runs Trapped Up Outdoors on uh, YouTube. He does a lot of trapping. You guys see us ice fishing together. So check him out and we're going to get down here and see what it looks like. Find a spot. We got... Roughly 40 pounds. We're gonna go boom. And and then he'll probably come here and trap these beaver. You can watch him trap the beaver this fall, so stay tuned. The last time I did a dam, I all my batteries were almost dead, so I actually charged some today. <laughs> like oh. Some of them missed the blow up. It's terrible. Check out this dam guys. It's a a big one. We're gonna give them something to do. So we're thinking here, go way back there, or maybe right there. We'll see. It's a, there's no high elevation spots here, so. We could have put up a tree stand. We could have been like, we're shooting out of a tree stand. <laughs> I used to have one over there. Actually. Yeah, that actually looks like a good bed in there. Right? Yeah. Well, let's figure out how we're doing this sucker. I know a lot of you guys want to see Let's put them on the other side. So this might be a good one to come back to with some PVC if they do rebuild, but I'm gonna get some PVC pipe and we're gonna do that on one of the next ones. So everybody's telling me to put them on the outside in the deep. So, you know, this put like, we could do multiple cause you could just go oh, boom, yeah. boom, just Have keep like shooting. Four, four people out here shooting. At one time, yeah. How about just the camera just right down the but, line? There's our 40 pounds. Should still be able to see it. We'll just go to wherever we can see it and boom. So stay tuned.
Yeah. Oh. We got a few leaves to go through, but I think I'll be all right. Oh. <laughs> Heads up! Addicting? Addicting? <laughs> Go, hey, is the drone up? Oh, woo, it's still there. Look at that water. Holy shit! Oh no! Oh, it's there, ain't it? Oh no! You, we gotta go through there to get it. Oh my god! Hey, addicting? Yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> Oh my God. Hey, I missed, by the way. Hey, I'm setting this right here. In the mud. I, I kind of jumped the gun just a hair. I might have got excited. <laughs> we're out here. Big dike up here. We, we're on the wrong side. The ranger's across. You can probably see it back there. We got a GoPro's in the tree and we got a river runs us through it. We got a little ahead of ourselves. <laughs> too excited to shoot it. Oh man. The the I'm getting time. wet. And I was like, hey, I don't need waders. I got smoke right in the shoulder. I see that. <laughs> That's awesome. You're, I, hopefully we picked up the sounds you made when I hit it. <laughs> you just started you just started laughing. <laughs> it's so awesome. <laughs> oh there it is. I'm like, where's my drum? Yeah, it makes the four pounders that I've shot pretty pretty pathetic. Oh yeah, uh, that's going to be some good drone footage, I think, because it was uh, high. That was really high up in the air. <laughs> Check this out, guys. Water just reached this tube on the next dam down. She's roaring. Starting to fill up over here. The dam is way up there. You can kind of see it right there. That water is going somewhere. Oh yeah, I get a lot of comments saying, do you warn the people downstream? 
Hey, look out! Here comes some water! Everyone needs water. Look out down. Yeah, they need water. We're, we're ending the drought. Holy shit. That's a spillway. There's another dam just right down there. Incoming down below. Your cabin was low. It's coming for it. Whoop. All right, guys, we made it around. Here's where we initially was going to blow it, but look how much water would have still came out. We had a ditch here, and we ended up blowing it down that way, but oh my God. This is so, so addicting. So addicting. I'm telling you, man, you come down here tomorrow, get these guys the aftermath video, and look for runs, and you, as soon as they plug this, you'll know where to put the traps. Unreal. I say unreal, even though I've seen it. But this is probably the longest dam I've blowed with that amount of tannerite. Look at this. Heck, you could walk out there now. Look at this, guys. That tannerite cost $100. That's a really cheap excavator. You agree? Yeah, you're 100% right. That is I a, never looked at it like that. You're not jumping right. across. I mean, that's a deep hole. We we just created this. We put the stream back where it was. That's where the original stream was, and now the beavers will have to move somewhere else, and he'll trap them, and they won't be going out in the farm fields and plugging culverts up and all that shit. Yeah, yours might not be doing much. <laughs> Probably a little deeper than I thought too. Look at here's our GoPro tree. I'm still setting strong. You need to get you a gripper. Yeah. <laughs> but here's his. Oh, dude, it's plastered. He just pivoted. Probably needed to wrap it around here. Hey. They are waterproof. But <laughs> still recording. Oh, man. This one got some footage. Probably got the water dropping. Well, I don't know if it's on. I think I just might have just heard it shut off, actually. Uh, like a 12 foot. So, so right. simple. You are right. I never really thought about the cheaper than the estimate. That's what I was saying. You, you just your fuel will be more than 100 bucks. And you got to ship it here. This and look what fun. we just did. It we took mixed a little a, bit of work, a little bit of shoveling. We shoveled. Not but very much. I bet you still could open it really good if you didn't shovel. But we're going to try so. this PVC pipe, and I think that will be a game changer. I don't know. I still like that five gallon bucket is uh that's uh i guess we have to just do it to see it we're gonna have to just go out and do a four pounder and be like oh that's all it was and then get yeah. the bucket out afterwards i don't know look how much water is coming out of that thing oh yeah we're getting down to seeing fish yeah i used to right there that little island thing you do i used to Run a lot of drowners, I'm yeah, it's amazing. Hey, I'm gonna go. Will you take a come up? Well, you can't really get over here. Picture, see how far over here you can walk. I'm gonna get in there. Oh, see okay. how deep that is. Well, I guess I can probably get it off of this, but I, sh I should be able to walk right over here. How deep think it is? I'm kind of nervous. Yeah, I'd just take her slow. <laughs> That's deep. Ready? Yeah, hold on. Sideways one for me. I'm yep. my thumbnail. Gosh damn it. Take just one more. One more. How many? We're 30 minutes in? 48, 48 minutes. Look at how much water went down. Oh gosh, you can finally see the old channel. There's a hole over there. There's some fish moving around. We'll go down to your main pond. Yeah, hole over there 
There's a heck of a climb out right here. Sheesh. Oh yeah. Oh wow, this is a heck of an island here. All this was underwater. Sheesh. I'm starting to see the main channel where the beaver have dug it out over the years up there. They've got piles right there. Yeah, I'd say that later on in the day it's going to be. You know. Yeah, there's there's gonna be a, quite a few den holes. There's one. That's definitely one there. Got the run and everything right there. Where's my camera? At? Okay, there we are. Right there. There's a run. There's something moving good. Yep. 